Well, Kelly's car is getting a little dirty, so we got to do some work on that this week. The car wash forecast. We get the green light. That tells us very strong winds. Keep in mind, this is above the ground a few thousand feet, so probably not reaching the ground, but still, some of this can occasionally mix to the ground when you get a really strong storm. We'll have a dynamic cooling through the atmosphere, and that means temperatures will cool all the way through the atmosphere by sunrise, leading to all snow. And if you know, whenever we talk about snow in our area, it's all about the timing of the cold air meeting up with the moisture, and we have just that. A little good amount of snow here on the ground, and it's that heavy, wet, snow as opposed to the powdery snow. If you don't get spring fever by Wednesday, you must not be spending some time outside. Warmer in places like Boone, North Carolina. So why is that? It's what we call a temperature inversion. And so normally when you go up through the atmosphere, it's warmer at the ground, gets colder as you go up with height. But when you have a temperature inversion, well, it's the reverse. With this fall like change in weather, I learned one local clinic is now using a one of a kind technology to help inform patients. It's cool. This is the new pollen collector. They are pretty fast moving, Elizabeth, at about 40 miles per hour. So, you know, at any one spot, the worst weather would probably be 15 to 20 minutes. You may be surprised to know we still usually have another freeze or two all the way through the end of April and can still get frost into early May. So that's why a lot of locals will say don't plant until Mother's Day. Are we going to see rain? Uh, yeah. Rain and what else? And thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning. Great job. As for heat lightning, it's a bit of a misnomer. It's just a thunderstorm off in the distance. For instance, in the Tri-Cities, we can see some storms in North Carolina, 50 to 100 miles away. That's because light travels farther at night. Now, Storm Team 11 meteorologist Tyler Allender. A lot of talk of more snow on the way, but also it's going to be brutally cold tomorrow. At least a fresh dose of cold air moving in. These are wind chills tonight into tomorrow throughout the day feeling like the 20s. That's in the Tri-Cities, but you go up into the mountain zones and that's where we're talking about wind chill values in the teens, even during the warmest part of the day tomorrow or what's normally the warmest part of the day. And with that winter system moving through, fairly limited impacts, but there could be some minor impacts in parts of the area, a little more pronounced in some of the higher elevations, especially in areas bumped up near the mountains. So be mindful of that. Try to stay on the main roads tomorrow. Here's how much more snow is expected to come. Now keep in mind, some of you have three to five inches of snow already on the ground. Talk to Kenneth Pearsall today at 4,100 feet, Roan Mountain. He has five inches of snow on the ground, really never cleared up from the snow a week ago, plus an inch of ice underneath that. So we're expecting many of us to see some snow in the morning. We're going to see basically totals from a dusting to about an inch or inch and a half in the Tri-Cities up to the lower terrain of Southwest Virginia. Now, if you live near the Virginia, Kentucky line, High Knob, Norton, Black Mountain could see two to four more inches of snow. And then from Bluefield, West Virginia, and then from White Top down the spine of the Appalachian Mountains and far east Tennessee and North Carolina, an extra two to five more inches of snow expected. Some of the highest peaks could get another half a foot. So there's the moisture beginning to move in. A lot of this not quite reaching the ground. Temperatures in the low to mid 30s in Southwest Virginia but it was a little bit milder today, closer to 40 in the Tri-Cities, low 30s in Johnson County. We could see some of the snow showers from just south of Mountain City down toward Roan Mountain, Carver's Gap, extending into Watauga County, North Carolina, as well as Ash, Avery, and Yancey County in North Carolina. Again, a lot of this moisture in East Tennessee not quite reaching the ground, but once you go above 4,000 feet, that's where we're starting to see the snow showers and snow flurries pick up. And also near Harlan County, southern Leslie and Letcher County starting to see some of the snow showers building there. And it's all part of our next weather maker. It's very similar to Saturday, eerily similar. In fact, you can see that bowling ball feature here on the weather map as it moves across the Ohio Valley. It puts us in the colder sector of the system and it's going to be all snow after 9 or 10 o'clock. So don't even be surprised if you see a few sprinkles or light rain over the next few hours in the valleys. There's the snow that will be occasional for this evening. 
Then between 2 a.m. and 7 or 8 tomorrow morning, a good chunk of us should expect some snow, and it could put down a spurt of some snow accumulations. And then basically by noon tomorrow, most of the snow is out of here except in the higher elevations up into southwest Virginia, and that's where we could be talking about the snow lingering much of the day. May get lucky for some of us to get a sunset tomorrow night, then the clouds try to work their way back in as we go into late Monday night. Tonight's low, 29 degrees. Yes, another round of snow moving in 36 your high tomorrow light to moderate snow in the morning otherwise a cold breezy day and there's your seven day forecast best chance of moisture tuesday looks to be north and northeast of the tri-cities slight chance of rain or snow may see some flurries tuesday night wednesday morning then the sun is back out after that